hexagons are the bestagons. And what the? This will not go well. And Saturn certainly agrees. So much so, in fact, that it wears a hexagon as a hat. Actually, that did go really well as all of Blitz's videos, and it's so amazing that there is a hexagon on Saturn's pole. But the hexagon is not the bestagon. The bestagon, at least my bestagon, is the polygon with 65,537 sides. Let me explain why. The coolest polygons for sure are those that are constructible. Constructible here means that they can be constructed with a straight edge and compass. So a straight edge is a ruler with no marking, so I can draw straight lines, but I can't measure distances, and a compass so I can draw circles um, at various points. And for example, the equilateral triangle is easily constructible. Squares are also constructible. Pentagons are constructible as well, and the construction is really neat. Now, hexagons are constructible, so they're pretty nice, but they're not the bestagon. Constructing polygons with a straight edge and compass is actually a very classical problem in geometry uh, that has been around for thousands of years, and many geometers have tried to find constructions of other polygons, uh, in particular those polygons with a prime number of sides, because if you can construct a triangle, then it's easy to construct a hexagon out of that triangle. Similarly, if you are able to construct a pentagon, it's easy to construct a polygon with 10 sides. Uh, but what about a heptagon, uh, a polygon with seven sides? Nobody could find that construction until Gauss came around. And Gauss did not find a construction for the heptagon. He found a construction for the heptadecagon. So for a polygon with 17 sides, and he proved something else. He proved that if P is a what we call a Fermat prime, is a prime number of this form, then there is a construction of that polygon using a straight edge and compass. But the largest Fermat prime number that we know about is 65,537. So there is a construction out there with a straight edge and compass of a 65,537 gone, and that makes this the best of gone. After that, actually, one cell proves sort of like the converse of that theorem, and now we know that the only constructible polygons are those that uh, the number of sides is a product of Fermat primes times some power of two. Uh, so, for example, three is a Fermat prime, five is a Fermat prime, 7 is not a Fermat prime, so there is no construction of a heptagon. 17 is a Fermat prime. 65,537 is a Fermat prime. So those are all constructible polygons, but we don't know any more Fermat primes. So for the time being, 65,537-sided 65, polygon is the bestagon.